all right so now i'm going to show you my workflow in anode how i got the renders in my thumbnail there okay so um i'm just going to create a backdrop and um for this we're going to need the cube you can start with a plane or anything that works out for you uh, as long as it works out i think let me position my my bulb in the center so I'll just go to my bulb then i'll change the coordinates to x to zero Okay, that's weird. Why isn't it gone? Why isn't, hasn't it changed position? Okay, never mind that. Let's just work with our cube. So our cube will just make this big. We'll make this big. And we'll make it editable. Then we go to our faces mode. And delete these faces. The sounding faces. Delete these faces. Then you're just going to have something like so. Then... We want to create a uh, a seamless backdrop. Okay, so uh, we can come to uh, our subdivision modifier. Then we put our cube in the subdivision modifier. Then we have something like that. Then we go to our cube and then we're going to add some loop cuts. So ML. Yeah. So we're going to add a loop cut there. Then we're going to add a loop cut over there. Then we'll add a loop cut somewhere there. We'll add one there. We'll add one there. And okay. That looks pretty much okay. For our backdrop. Okay. So we are just going to push our backdrop up. So I think I'm a bit fast. Uh, where is the backdrop? Where is the backdrop? Okay. It's in this angle. So we are going to go to uh -huh, okay so i'm just going to push it up like so so that um okay let me just move my axis to like so somewhere there yeah that is okay then i will push it to somewhere like so that should be okay for now okay then we're going to uh, bring in so let me just rename these to backdrop backdrop okay uh now we're going to bring in an anode camera so anode camera then we go to our perspective camera okay so you can do this pretty much with any renderer that is redshift or then not any renderer um so we we'll just frame our shot somewhere like so that should be pretty much okay then we can jump out of our camera okay just like that okay um so we can now start our ipr anode ipr let's say go to anode anode ipr our interactive render our interactive render preview is it yeah preview render interactive. so right now anode is dark that is because there's nothing that is going on there's no light so we are going to bring in a light so we'll go to anode and then we'll bring in light and then we shall put in a sky dome so already we have that that's going on there which is pretty cool it's pretty cool yeah it looks awesome it looks awesome so far so we can now add some materials so just bring down bring up my menus here bring up my menus and i think i need to stack this somewhere i think let me try to stack it over there yeah i hope you can be able to see this uh let's see that's everything i know that the ara over there then I will need to shift this to let me shift this to up here. Yeah, do something like that. Something like this. Okay, I think something like this is 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 pretty much okay for now. I'll be able to draw the parameters. Okay. Okay, so we will jump back to our camera. So we have our camera there and the anode scene. So we're now going to add some materials. So I'll just use some basic anode materials. So we'll click on create.
create anode, create anode surface, then surface, select surface, material. Okay, so that material is created. If I double click, I can go into the material editor. Okay, so I will, um, so by default here, there's a metal, there's a preset, anode has got a preset of materials. So I think let's work with with the bulb the bulb has got a glass so we just make it a glass okay and i will drag this material over okay uh, let's do this let me stop my render let me just stop my render then i'll drag my glass to uh, my bulb let me move this trying to find my bulb so I have my bulb somewhere there at the bottom and okay let me just turn off this thing for you so can see uh, okay so uh, what's going on there uh, nothing is happening nothing seems to be happening Nothing seems to be happening so far. Okay, so there we have um, we have that going on. Okay, there's something that I did off camera. Okay, I think that is okay. This is pretty much okay. But there's something that I did off camera which I would like to to show you. I would like to show you. So I'm just going to. Uh, good my class. What is this? What's going on here? Oh, it's rendering. Yeah. So, I uh, go to my glass. Then let me. Yeah. Okay. So let me close this so that you don't pay attention to that. Okay. So, if you look at my my glass, my my glass over here, I think. Let me bring up my, my lines. Okay, this is only like one layer of thickness, and nothing is. Most of the things that we know in life always have a thickness. It's always a certain thickness. So to add thickness to this thing, to this glass, okay, uh, what I did was uh, with with the glass selected, with the glass selected, I just went to my. Uh, let me just bring up. So with my thickness, with my thick, or oh, with my glass selected, sorry, just went to my modifiers over here, where the where the subdivision is. Then I added a cloth modifier. So this cloth modifier, I will make the the sphere glass a child of the cloth modifier. Then I will go into the attributes of the of the modifier of the cloth surface modifier, which is object. And I will reduce, I will increase, or just, let me just show you, if I was to uh, increase the um, the thickness to 1, okay, so you see there's that change that is going on there. There's that thickness. You see what's going on? That thickness. So I don't want the thickness to be outside. I want the thickness to be inside. I want it to go inside, which means we have to go in a negative direction. So if you go like negative 1, you see it now goes in but this is too thick for the actual actual glass so i will reduce this to like 0.3 yeah something like that see, see so we've got some thickness there let me turn off my yeah we have put some thickness going on over there just some little thickness so this is going to help us a lot when you go to anode so put my anode class yeah so I will take out my solo. Where's my solo? Uh, where's my solo key here? Yeah, can't see it. Okay, let me go back to my normal view. Okay, so I moved the camera. The camera was out of frame. Then let me go to my anode template. Yeah, just there. Frame. 
and frame it like so to somewhere like so should be okay so if i fire my render frame my render yeah so you see that's happening but because of the background is too white so we can't see certain things and see certain things that are going on there so we're just going to add another material okay we to add another material just going to bring it here yeah we're just going to add another material create anode material another surface a surface shader okay then this one we're going to apply it to the backdrop okay then we double click go into the editor then it's plastic so we're going to bump up our roughness okay we just going to so that it isn't shiny anymore then we can change the color uh I choose something like brownish so bring it to somewhere like so and it's just a matter of uh, playing with the, the sliders and coming up with uh, the desirable color you know what you what you design okay so i think uh somewhere over there was close to was close to what i'm looking for yeah I think somewhere over there, somewhere around here, it's close to what I'm looking for. Okay, so that is okay. Then, if you look at the glass, the glass right now, it's not so clear. It's not so clear. So, let's go into our settings. Okay, our settings, everything looks okay. But if you look at the glass, it's not so clear. You know, the glass is, is not so clear. So, um... Let's go to our bulb. Uh, let's let's go to our glass material. Then we can adjust certain things. I think the roughness. Let's make it like point one. Then let's go to okay. I'm not doing its thing. I'm not doing its thing. So let me just pause. Just pause the render and go to uh that was on specular let me go to code uh machine advanced then i'll add some caustics and i will reduce uh what else let's see let me just fire this up okay i think then made it a little bit better just a little bit better okay so uh let's add some material to let me rotate this bulb this bulb i want i want, I want these elements to be facing the front so i've got the bulb go to uh coordinates and then let me rotate it like 90 90 degrees that is 90 degrees on 90 degrees yeah so that it faces me and then gives me a proper view then i'll create another material um anode surface standard surface material then we'll edit the material you know i'm a bit fast but uh, it's necessary so i will have to change this material to like metallic like metal then i'll go to my my base then it has got metal presets so if we click on custom so this aluminium aluminium copper gold so these are just different metals i'll see uh iron let's go with iron see what happens so if we pause the render uh what so just drag my material to the cup there then if we fire our render okay so we have our material material there we have our material there so uh something you can also do is we can add some lights some 
other light source to 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 add in more contrast to the scene okay because we don't want to see these reflections that are coming from the from the hdri image around okay we don't want to see we don't want to see that i actually i didn't apply the hdr image this was just the default anode sky so anode so this is not an anode tutorial so then anode tutorial so it's so in depth so that's why i'm moving so fast so anode so i'll change the color from color to texture then i will grab this one that i have these are just um hdri images that i got from hdr heaven it's called brown photo studio 02 it's a 2k image so put it in there then it will give me some realistic uh, light so i don't want to see this backdrop or this background going on there so i will turn off the background from my camera samples there okay just turn it off just like that okay then I'll zoom in zoom in and check this out check this out already we already have something awesome isn't this awesome it already looks awesome so we need to apply the same glass material to this piece which is inside and then we can add some metal to the wires that are inside and then we'll be done with the tutorial okay so let's bring this down so we'll go to my inside elements inside elements inside elements i have got the okay i've got this piece the internal piece this piece so just grab my glass and throw it in there Mm, that didn't work that didn't work so i'll undo that i'll undo that i think something oh it's here it's over here i i, I posted the material on something that is wrong so yeah I've applied the material to that glass it's there if you don't know if you can see it maybe you can see it now okay i think i messed up with my camera okay yeah so you can you're starting to see it yeah, it's there then i can apply the same metal to the the two metal the two metals that are inside okay the two metal handles that are inside then i can think you can create another material you can create another material but it will be metallic as well an anode surface material and surface standard surface then i'll just use the presets again this one will just use something like aluminium okay so just pause this render because i'm using the cpu so it's a bit slow yeah so i'll go to my material then presets uh, uh, what's going on here custom i don't know what have i done wrong oh i need to set up my custom to metal over here then i can come to my material presets and say aluminium there then i think you can turn down the damn things like uh, roughness yeah let me change the roughness to something like so you know something like so this should be okay you know just drag this onto the, the filament holder one also drag it on the filament holder too then i will add this metal to the filament itself i think i think i need to change let me change the color of the metal to a little bit of darkish a bit dark then i run my ipr let's see what happens let's see what happens So running my IPR. Yeah. 
so to create some dramatic looks like what i did i just threw in a bunch of studio lights and it made me get some uh, like studio like reflections and so on you know but this is the general work the workflow that i i i, I use most of the times in uh, creating such kind of renders okay so you can check out a bunch of youtube tutorials on arnold renderer and you can know how to get these kind of photorealistic renders i also did some posts in photoshop i did some a bit of cleanup i did some words and yeah so this is how you can design a round bulb in 3d using any 3D application that is Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, uh, Max, any 3D application that is able to, to 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 do such kind of work. Yeah. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one, guys.